everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a box to open that I could not wait on my cameraman. Uh, I just really want to get this one open because I want to see what's inside. And you can see it was USPS signature tracking so naturally they put it in the mailbox. That couldn't have been my regular guy Jerry. He doesn't do stuff like that. We've been having some issues here with um, I guess the substitute post postal workers I don't know but anyway I got it I saw that it was delivered I ran down to the mailbox and got it and I wanted to show it to you guys now this is my set of original shoe hoos that I purchased and I got them from the new site bjdcollectors.com and I'm not sponsored by this site at all this is a new site I was reading up on it and the guy that runs it runs a couple other sites and he kind of just explains it's free to list on there it's free to sell um, his intentions in the future is to make money by having people promote their items so like you pay a little bit extra to have your item promoted for sale and uh, this transaction went really smoothly assuming these two are fine inside so I actually went today and I signed up for an account with it. I mean, I bought these with an account, but I signed up for a storefront account, which is free. And I listed it all on there because I was really happy with the way this transaction went. And I think it could really be pretty much like the future of how we sell dolls. And I think it's a, I think it's a cool thing. And I think, um, yeah, I think it's a good place, like a good one-stop shop to like for me to list my dolls that I have for sale. So I'll link to my storefront below. I'm just Muñecos Poupe's dolls on there. And so when I have BJDs for sale, I'm gonna list them on there because it makes things really simple. You pay with PayPal goods and services, you just click the button and check out. So anyway, again, not sponsored by them, but I think it's a really good site. And I think that this guy has put this thing together and it's gonna be really useful for us BJD collectors. So I'm really excited about it potentially being like, and it's no recast zone, which is excellent. So you've got maintain some safety there. I think it's great for us. So I bought these two little shoe hoos there. And I have to say a big thank you to the person that tagged me um, or answered. I put up a want to buy in the BB Flockland group and a um, person let me know that there were two for sale on Den of Angels. Well, I don't have access to Den of Angels um, uh, sales. I'm on Den of Angels, but I don't have access to the sales. But I thought, you know, if, oh my gosh, look how adorable. I thought, you know, if they've got them on Den of Angels, surely they're listed somewhere else. So I like started doing some searching around and they were listed on the BJD Collectors um, sales site. So I was able to get them through that. So that's very exciting. Oh my gosh, they're like in perfect condition. Check those out. I'm very excited about this. And they came with a bunch of clothes. So let's get them out and have a look. Um, these are the original shoe hoos that Rose BB Flockling made. and. I distinctly remember seeing them. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. I distinctly remember seeing them. Let's see if they're wearing their wigs. No, I distinctly remember seeing them at IDTS in Asheville. Charlene Smith had some at her table and I know I took pictures of them, but y'all those pictures have disappeared. I lost them somewhere in time, but check this out. How adorable are they? So I want to show you them compared to the other shoe hoos, the new version of shoe hoos. But this, I just really had wanted an original one, um, one of the original ones, and I got the pair for a really good price from that site. So I went ahead and grabbed a pair of them. I'd still like to get a minty blue one, one of the blue original ones. And I know a lady, she's checking through some stuff and she's going to let me know if she has one for sale. So if she does, then I'll probably get that one too, just because I've got three of the new style shoe hoos, so I need three of the old style as well. So I'm gonna pull this one out. Oh my gosh, how adorable is she? She is absolutely the cutest thing. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. They are so adorable. I love these little lamby outfits. I think that's what they're called too, is like actually called lamby. Let's look at the COA so I don't, misremember and tell you guys wrong. I think it's in here. Here we go. This is gorgeous. So Beep Beep and Lilu. Okay, so for Shuhu, Beep Beep and Lilu. Why did I think they were called Lammy? There might have been one called Lammy. But anyway, so there's the serial number. 
serial number three and serial number five so i think i have dolls three and five in these two which is too cool i'm trying to figure out if they're the same face sculpt but painted differently it's really hard for me to tell that i think they're the same face sculpt just painted differently like the other um like the current version of the shoe who's gosh they're so cute they're so so cute so anyway there's the certificates of authenticity so this is from 2014 i might have seen these i don't think i saw these at charlene's table in 2014 i want to say it was 2015 or 2016 but look how adorable that is that is so cute you know what? i think that's the thing that she made so then we also have i think this is a wig i think i got their original wigs as well so let's check this out so this would be beep beeps i think if this is a wig and it may be it is a wig this is too cute so I'm gonna just try it on and it's an interesting it's like made out of like I think it's yarn like some of that type of yarn that you could look how cute oh my goodness he's adorable little beep beep it's so cute and then let's see what else we've got we've got some other clothing so here's a little outfit that's adorable then I've got another outfit. I love those colors. That's adorable, and it's got stockings with it. And then another little outfit, adorable. And then here's a, another wig. So let's check this wig out. This is too cool, y'all. Like this, this really came with a lot of great stuff. So here's another wig. I'm not sure. I think it's kind of the same story. Um, it's like a, I don't know if it's a yarn, but it's a type of like, Let's see. Look how cute she is. They are a little loose, but they're, you know, 2014 to now is what, eight years old? These are old dolls as far as BJDs go. Look how adorable. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. So, so cute. So I'm just want to check something here. I want to see inside the head cap. So there's inside the head cap. I just like looking at that kind of stuff. And so adorable. Absolutely precious, y'all. They're so precious. I'm really glad I was able to grab these. And you know, like I said, I would if you told me I would be buying tinies again in the future, I'd have been like, you crazy. I'm not ever buying tinies again, and here I am. And then check out these magical little necklaces. So Rose's dolls have always been quite magical and have had these like little touches of whimsy. These were her first BJDs, I am almost 100% sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong below in the comments, but I think these were her first BJDs that she created. And then we have this necklace. How cute is that? I'm not sure how much of this was original to the dolls and how much the seller added like as a, um, like as a bonus. But I'm thinking, I know these outfits are original. So how adorable is that? And I'm pretty sure the wigs are original too. So those are so cute. I'm so like, I'm so pumped to have them. Like seriously, so excited. And they're in pristine, like really pristine condition. The seller said they had been in a cabinet all these years. And I can definitely see that because the condition is so nice i'm gonna pack all their other items back in this box i'm guessing that this box is probably what they originally came into but there's i'm not sure but they fit perfectly in there with all of their accessories but anyway oh they're just adorable they're just i'm gonna put this necklace back in the box too they're so adorable like i'm so thrilled to have them and just like oh look all right let's compare them to the newer style shoe hoo so I brought Peony out to do a comparison so you can kind of see the difference in the sizes. So the new shoe who is a good bit taller and bigger and I do like the feel of this one in my hands more just because it's a bigger doll and the tinies are not, you know, they're, they're tiny. But look how cute they look together. I think they're so adorable. They're so magical and I'm so glad to have added this bit of, um, you know bjd history to my collection to my rose bb flockland collection because i think it's it's just so adorable and it's super special i feel like to have um original dolls from the artists like the first when they first started making dolls i just want to try this one on her and see how it looks i think it's fun to have those original kind of like 
dolls. I just think it's really nice to have that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I will leave the link to my BJD Collectors um, storefront below so you guys can check it out. This transaction went really smoothly for me. Everything's done through PayPal, so you know, um, you're protected through PayPal buyer protection. And I think for the future when I list dolls for sale, because people are always asking me, where do you list your dolls for sale? And sometimes I list them on Instagram and sometimes I list them on Facebook and sometimes people don't use Instagram and sometimes people don't use Facebook. So if I just put them all in this one consolidated spot where I can send the link out to people, I think that'll make my life easier. And then for you guys, if you want to sign up for the website and follow me there, you can also check what I've got for sale. And there's a lot of cute stuff up there for sale, so be sure to check it out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon, Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shira Star Hobby, Stephanie W, and Jessica S. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please check the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.